In this video, I will guide you to getting your first customized model into VRChat as quickly as possible. Okay, so before we get into things, some important information to know. You cannot upload custom avatars with a Steam, Oculus, Vive platforms, and must convert your account into a VRChat account, which you can do by going to Menu, then click Settings. And near the bottom of the menu you will see a button that says Upgrade your account. Although, if you have favorited avatars or worlds, you will lose them upon conversion. Now also important to know, you must have an account that has reached new user rank in order to enable the ability to upload custom avatars to viewer chat, which you can obtain by spending at least 24 hours in the game while adding friends and behaving properly. And finally, it's important for you to be aware that the Unity version I'll be using and promoting in this video is likely to become outdated in 2020. Why should you care? Well, if you use an outdated Unity version to upload your content, chances are your content will be hidden from others. I will leave a link to the viewer chat documentations, so you can manually confirm the currently used Unity version. Now let's finally begin, expand my video description and download all the links. Unity, VRC SDK, Blender, Cats plugin for Blender, Poyomi shaders for Unity, Material Combiner plugin for Cats. Install Unity and then install Blender immediately and we'll go through the other stuff during the video. Now for the hardest part of the video, finding a model that you want to use for the tutorial. Tricky since some model bases are excellent and it's smooth sailing, while others not so much. In optional downloads, inside my video description, I'll leave a Canna model for tutorial purposes, which is what it'll be using in this video, super classic. But what if you want a far more customized model to work with? There are many places you can go, vrcmods.com is a great place to find high quality models, although there's probably a lot of pirated content there. It lets you skip the blender part of this video. If you have some spare cash, you could go to Fiverr and pay someone to create a really unique model for you. There are a lot of great 3D modelers. You can also go to deviantart.com or barrel.net, both linked in the video description. Then of course if you want to skip this video entirely, maybe a non-anime taffy avatar would interest you. You download the software, set up your model in the software, select some clothing and items, much like The Sims, and then you upload it onto your account directly from Taffy. And then finally, Ride Studio, which is the best software to create unique anime 3D models. Although getting them uploaded into VR chat at maximum quality can be a bit of a challenge, I have some tutorials on it if you're interested. Finally, at long last, let's begin. Open Blender, and the first thing we want to do is to install the Cat's Blender plugin we downloaded. So mouse over edit in the top left corner of Blender, and mouse down and click into Preferences. A small window will appear, mouse over and click add-ins, then mouse over and click install button. Now locate your Cat's Blender plugin, which should have remained zipped and not exported. Double click to install, once installed make sure it's enabled, and then close the small window. Before we begin, click on the screen to get rid of the welcome message, and then press A on your keyboard once, and then press the delete key to clear the scene. Now that Cat's is installed, click on this little arrow on the upper right side, and then click on your Cats tab. And inside the Cats tab, there's a big Import Model button. Click the Import Model button and locate your chosen model. I will be using the Canon model as mentioned before. Now for a crash course on Blender navigation, your middle mouse button scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Hold middle mouse button to rotate around your model, and then finally hold Shift and middle mouse click to move the screen around. Now in the Cats tab, click the Big Fix Model button, which does eight incredible things at once saving you a lot of time. Now with your model fixed, expand model options and click on the all button that has a target icon. This is what translates your model into English. We don't need to use custom model creation. Our model is above the 70,000 polygon limit, so we have to decimate the Canon model. Expand the decimation tab and click safe and save finger and then click decimate. You can check your model size in the very bottom right of Blender. Expand the eye tracking tab and click create eye tracking. You should then test your eyes to make sure they are working properly and expand the Vesims tab option, and click Create Vesims. And now expand Bone Parenting tab, click Refresh, and begin parenting all the bones. Great. Now expand the Final Optimization tab, and you'll see a button that says Download Material Combiner, but since we already downloaded it, let's install the add-in. Mouse over Edit in the top left, and click into Preferences, and then inside the Add-ins tab click the Install button. Navigate to where you downloaded the Material Combiner, which should remain zipped, and click on the Install Add-in button. Once installed, don't forget to click the checkbox to enable it. In the Optimization tab under Atlas, click Install Pillow. So for this single time we need to restart Blender, but we need to save our work first. So click File in the top left, and then click Save As, and save it to a convenient place like your desktop. Restart Blender by clicking on your save file, and now re-navigate to Optimization tab, and click Save Atlas to button, and push it to your desktop. 
And once that's done, simply click the export model button at the top of CATS and push that to your desktop. And that's it for Blender. If you had any issues, you can find help in my Discord. Now for the Unity part, which is 123 easy. Make sure you're using the specific Unity that VRChat requests you to use. Open Unity and create a new project dedicated to avatars. And once you get into your project, let's import your model and atlas texture. So there's two ways you can import things. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to click and open the file explorer and navigate to your files. Click on your model and then control plus click on your texture to select both and then drag it into your project's assets. The other method is to right click, select import new asset and click on your Canon model and then do it again for the texture. Click and drag your Canna model into your hierarchy. And now for a quick Unity navigation crash course. Put your mouse in the scene, hold right mouse click, and use W, S, A, and D to fly around the scene. Now in the inspector, click the select button, and then click on the materials tab. Change use embedded materials to use external materials legacy. Expand the Canna model in the hierarchy, and then click on body and then click on your single material to expand it. For this specific Canna model, change rendering mode from opaque to cutout to solve the blush issue. Now this step is highly recommended since there's more to it. Let's import the Poyomi shader package and apply them to our model. Drag the package into assets or right click under assets and select import package custom package. Once Poyomi shaders is imported, a window called three pops up and you can either click the import viewer chat button or manually drag in the VRC SDK that you downloaded from my description. Once the RC SDK is imported into your assets, enable Auto Avatar Descriptor under Extra Modules in the 3 window. Make sure under the new settings that appear, that Auto Setup Avatar Descriptor is checked, and the gender is set for your model. You can close this window now. Now click on your model in the scene, and in the inspector, click Add Component and search VRC Descriptor and add it. If you enabled it correctly, all your facial vis and phonemes should be automatically applied including the camera which is placed in your model's head for you. Now click on your model, click select, click on the rig tab, change generic to humanoid, and then hit apply, and go into configure to make sure everything is correctly set. Hips with hips, spine with spine, chest with chest, upper chest you leave blank. I usually go into head and delete the jaw, and hit apply and done. Optional shader change, click on body in your hierarchy, and then on your at last texture, click on the standard shader, and navigate through Poyama's options, tune, default, and then cut off for Canna. Now the model is a bit brighter. And then finally at the top of the menu, click on VRChat SDK and select Show Control Panel and then log into your VRChat account. Once logged in, click on the Builder tab and then click on Build and Publish and type in a name for your model and click the checkbox and then upload. That's all, you did it. Now, if you ran into any issues, join my Discord for more immediate help. If you want dynamic bones for wavy hair and clothes, expand my video description and click into the timestamp tutorial, which has a link for it. And that's it for this one. If you found it helpful at all, maybe subscribe and motivate me. Or toss a corn to your witcher hee hee. Fruity boop out.